Hello everyone, Gifted Soul here back for another pick a card reading and this pick a card reading is going to be regarding what is blocking you from the path that you are meant to be on, what is keeping you from being successful on your life's journey at the moment um, and not saying that, you know, small accomplishments don't matter but we're trying to figure out, you know, what it is or what advice you should take, what action step you should take to improve on your life path is the thing so um the, all the piles look the same um i'm in a setup where i can't really show you like i want to so for right now i did buy something to help uh but yeah bad product so i'm still looking let me know if any of you guys know of some things that i can use to hold up my phone to record i would appreciate it um yeah but anyway so they all look like this and it is a total of five cards per pile uh the decks i'm using will be linked down below i also want to mention that i brought back affiliate links which means that i'm going to be linking down uh where you could find these decks from amazon and if you purchase through my amazon affiliate link I could possibly get a small percentage. I do not get any proceeds until I have successfully collected three sales um, within 180 days of being in the affiliate program. If I do not get that, I have to pretty much keep reapplying until I get there. Um, I did this before. In the description box, I put a little small little story down of how I did it before and what an Amazon affiliate link actually is. Um, I don't get the whole sale. I will get possibly a portion. And again, I have to get three sales to even do that. And again, to become a permanent affiliate. Um, yeah. Anyways, so just wanted to let you guys know that because some people kind of have a problem with... Uh, YouTubers or anybody in general putting affiliate links in their uh, description boxes or their videos and this is a part of how I get my income so I do have to you know find different means and different avenues of making money guys um, but pretty much everything I'm going to be using or linking down are things that I use if I don't use it I'm not putting it in the description box so um, for example these decks uh, you will I will link down the links there and again if you want to help me in the affiliate program what you would need to do is purchase uh, a item or a deck that I have listed in the description box below um, through my link and then I could possibly get a small percentage of the sale and it helps me stay in the affiliate program so that's all I want to mention about that please keep in mind that these readings are for entertainment purposes only and is not to substitute for financial legal medical or any other type of advice given to you by a qualified professional free will is a way of life and we're all in control of our own destinies in the end I also do want to mention that pick a card readings or any other collective readings for that matter are not or should not be reflective on a reader's talent just because it doesn't resonate here doesn't mean it won't resonate in a personal um one-on-one -on -one reading so if you would like personal readings please do look at the description box below or the pinned comment where i have my website and my etsy shop down below where you can book a reading um i've also included an amazon wish list for those of you that want to send me something um or you know for energy exchange just because to say thank you or you know if there's a deck that you feel like I don't have and want me to use on my channel for you guys um you know you can send me things that way and I'll be happy to utilize it on my channel for you um the Amazon wish list I will be linking in my description boxes and I also will it is also linked on my channel banner uh so you know beside my Instagram and my Etsy shop and everything that I have linked there it's going to be on that little wall so yeah um, and if you do get me a deck from there on that registry, I will um, leave a note. Let me know who you are. Contact my email address and say, hey, get the soul. I sent you this deck. And um, whatever deck you sent me, I will give you a free message from that deck. So that's what I'm going to do for those of you that send me things uh, or send me decks rather from my Amazon wish list.
so anyway enough of that so back to the pick a card reading so there's three piles again they pretty much all look the same i know people like to look at them all at the same time but again it's either i do this or i can't get a video out to you guys until i get something you know some better equipment so for right now this is how it is and i do apologize but i'm working on it um but yeah let's go ahead and get started with pile number one okay so pile number one what is it that is blocking you from your path so we have mending okay and then we have I salt undying love. The love you have shared is eternal regardless of the situation. So I don't, there's some type of friendship here or even a love partnership, some type of partnership where you guys are kind of having some difficulties. Maybe you're not getting along or maybe you're just not seeing eye to eye. I do feel like maybe it's because you have different opinions on something and maybe it's caused you to fall out with this person. Or again, this could be something coming up. I feel like Spirit is saying not to let this get in the way of your success. I feel like um, you're being brought back together uh, with someone in union here and that's going to be part of the reason or part of the reason why you would improve not saying that you can't do it by yourself but simply just saying um that this support is going to help you and help you get a long way and they're going to kind of help you get in contact with maybe the right people um and then yeah so it's some type of connection where you and this person again it doesn't have to be a lover it could be a friend it could be a family member it could be a co-worker or anybody that maybe you have done projects with or you're considering it or whatever the case is and i feel like um spirit is saying whatever disagreement you had it's going you're going to kind of come back and compromise with one another or at least this is what spirit is saying is this what you need to do um i see something coming back together you coming back together with somebody and that's going to be again part of uh how you are going to improve on your path so we have a nature okay it reads this is a time to absorb the healing properties that nature has to offer your mind body and soul need nourishment energy revitalization and strength nature has much to offer so take this time to re to, yeah. so take this time to connect and spend some quality time outdoors so spending some time outside here is the message in nature um uh doing maybe even some intuitive walking i feel i feel like some of you may need to work with the color green as well i feel earth sign energy here so um whether this is in your chart the person that we could be talking about here if it is a person and not a thing or a situation or simply just the energy that you are taking on at this time i feel nurturing type of energy so uh definitely virgo capricorn or um taurus or again it could be in other areas of your chart or the energy you're taking on um but i do feel like somebody that really cares about you is uh or again you care about each other and you're going to help each other um and spirit is saying that there is enough to go around and that you can both implement your ideas into one and make it one big successful thing it doesn't have to be you know oh let's do my idea and let's only do mine it's more so like i said compromise where you're coming to a conclusion of you know okay we're, we can do this for my idea and then we can implement your idea too and just make it you know one big thing so that's what I get so far. Let's see. We have the honoring path. So intention number seven. Um, so yeah, I do see success coming from, you know, the advice that I've already given here. Um, Spirit is wanting you to set your intentions. And I feel like this is honoring how far you have come. Even though you may feel like you haven't, you know, reached a lot of milestones, um, in one particular area of your life or maybe even all aspects spirit is saying that you've done a lot of hard work and you should be proud of yourself and you should honor yourself and i do feel like people have acknowledged what you have done whether they're saying it or not i do feel people are, you know maybe in the corner they're being quiet oh i see what he or she is doing i see them they're really doing a great job they may not voice that but people a lot of people feel this about you so spirit is saying to feel it about yourself know your your own you know worth and value 
Okay, so we have this card. Your entire body is precious, so choose personal care products that reflect your consciousness and commitment to self-love. Say no to toxins and yes to healthiest to the healthiest ingredients possible. You deserve to look and feel great, and you are worth the effort. Be a natural beauty. So be a natural beauty. Back to this nature. It's all about the natural. Um not feeling like I feel like this is also about maybe releasing trends not feel I feel like this is why people are honoring you um, and why even this person honors you because you don't follow trends you're very natural and spirit I feel like this is for those of you that are already natural spirit is saying to keep that up so what I was reading was what was on the back here it's a double-sided card but um but yeah so there's a lot to appreciate and I feel like spirit is saying that you don't have to, um, like my good friend V from V Love and Crystals said, go check her out, by the way. Uh, she said in a video that she did for tarot readers, um, she's doing a lot of videos for um, in support of those that are psychics and uh, any type of readers. And um, yeah, go watch those. But she spoke about how you don't need the fanciest equipment or you really don't, you know, you don't have to step back that far out of your comfort zone like or you don't need pretty nails or anything like that you don't need to be like everybody else and that's the kind of energy i'm getting here and spirit is saying you're doing fine just by being who you are without all that extra makeup or those fingernails or um expensive equipment spirit says you have come a long way to doing what you're doing so keep that up and i feel like the number seven is important here for some reason, uh, we have seven with the intention, uh, uh, the honor and path card, and then five plus two, 52 on this card. That's seven. So, uh, yeah, I feel like that's really important. So that is what I have for pile number one. Please like, share, come subscribe. Let me know if this resonated or if there was something you learned. Um, and, yeah, so we're going to move on to pile number two. Take care, love and light, and I hope that we can connect again soon. Welcome to those of you who have picked pile number two. This is a reading regarding, you know, how you can improve on your path or what is blocking you rather from your path um, or from the path you're meant to be on. So let's see the advice for pile two. So we have uh, 40, co-create, co-create. We have Bridget, don't back down, stand up for what you believe is right. Okay, so yeah, I have to stop for a moment, but we have co-create and we have Bridget, don't back down, stand up for what you believe is right. Um, so I feel with co-create, co-create is about having a lot of inspiration, a lot of, I feel like even spiritual influence around you where whether it's your guides or your angels or just even the universe just giving you a lot of ideas uh and it's coming from the divine pretty much co-creating is for the most part from my understanding of the word is you know getting all of these ideas it's kind of like a spark of inspiration um where you're kind of creating if I don't know if I'm making sense but creating without even doing anything like you're having all these ideas in your mind and you're rearranging things in your head like if you're decorating a house or something you already have it mapped out like you want the bed over here and you want the nightstand on the other side of the room so um yeah but then we have don't back down and I feel like this is about with co-create and don't back down, stand up for what you believe is right. I feel like this is about not backing down or being persuaded from the vision that you have set in mind. So this probably is about follow through for you guys. I feel like maybe you might feel like sometimes your ideas are not good enough or somebody comes along and or you might be watching a video or something and it's like, oh, well, they're doing this. So maybe I need to do this kind of. It's kind of giving me pile one vibes. So maybe you watch that or maybe you may need to. I don't know. But one message in pile number one we spoke on was the fact that, um, you know, you don't have to be a trendsetter pretty much. And 
so I kind of feel like maybe that could be what is blocking the collective rather than just these individual piles but um but yeah spirit says to stand by your vision um and to keep moving forward with what you have already planned I feel like you have good plans you have a good structure it's just about disciplining yourself to keep things going and um yeah Even if you stand alone, Spirit is saying to stand up for what you want to do and what you believe is right. Um, so we have caregiver. So we are with you and Spirit has his own way of recognizing the care and love you provide to others, especially at the end of their lives. Just as you received care and love at the start of your life. Caregivers only often focus all their intention on their loved ones and often neglect their own concerns and well-being in the process so that's actually what i wanted to say um but yeah i keep not necessarily second guessing myself in this case but um you know i just want to see what came up but i was actually about to say that like i said don't be persuaded off of the path that you are on just by oh you see somebody doing something different and you may feel like you have to do that too so again don't back down from your own vision and i feel like you're focused a lot on helping other people co-create and manifest and uh you're motivating other people to kind of stand up for what they believe is right and now is the time for you to take your own advice is what spirit is saying stand up for what you believe is right take care of your own whatever it, if it's your career your relationship spirit said it's, it's time to be you know more you know in tune with your own self you're helping other people to the point where you're not giving yourself any time or acknowledgement too much so spirit is wanting you to get back into the energy of self-care and again making sure your own self is straight and you know prioritizing things that you need to prioritize in your life okay um and spirit is acknowledging your efforts and caring for other people in their well-being and their careers and their passion and you motivating them. So you are going to be rewarded from that for that. But uh, sometimes you have to prioritize yourself and be selfish and there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, so we have courage. Ooh. So I feel like this is about... I don't know. I feel like you've taught many people or maybe even a few people, maybe even one person, whatever the case may be. And I feel like some of you are readers that are watching this pile, but um, you've helped a lot of people. And I feel like, like I said, you help motivate a lot of people. And I feel like Spirit is saying you've done your job. So now it's time for them to walk on their own a little bit, show their independence or practice their independence um you've taught a lot of people how to be independent in some way shape or form and spirit is saying it's time for you to let go of the leash and let them you know show them um hey show show you that you know they've they've done it they're doing it and yeah and i feel like this is about you having courage to again let go of the rope and let them walk on their own whoever this could be or again it could even be a situation but um but yeah with courage i do feel like this is about again the i feel like spirit is saying the courage to say no to something because we have don't back down stay stand up for what you believe in so spirit is saying to have encouraged to walk on your own as well not i don't feel like necessarily that maybe you even had a lot of help but spirit is saying to that you really don't need too much help i feel maybe you everybody needs help but i feel like you guys pile number one or pile number two rather you guys are um very independent so to speak and you but you like to take care of other people um so that's your thing um i feel like you like to it's not even that you you know you have to do it this is what you love to do um but because of that, that's what's kind of giving you the blessings that you're getting now or will be receiving in the future. So we have take your foot off the gas and don't push yourself so hard. If you need to rest, then take a break. The world won't fall apart if you nap. 
Renew, dear one. You are a treasure. Be gentle with yourself. Okay. Uh, and be gentle with yourself is on the other side. So, um, yeah. With be gentle with yourself. Like I said, you've been caregiving for other people in whatever way you have been. And, you know... It's time. I feel like you've even been telling people they need to be gentle with themselves. But it's like it's a lot of advice here that you are needing to take heed into your own life. Um, so be gentle with yourself. Don't feel bad for, you know, letting somebody do their own thing. Don't feel bad for saying no. Uh, just don't be too hard on yourself. Don't put too much work on yourself um, or, you know, with especially with other people's burdens. And for now, just focus on yourself and, you know, be kind to yourself. So that is what I have for pile number two in regards to what is blocking you from your path or what advice you need to take in regards to that. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and let me know if this resonated or if there's anything that you learned. And yeah, personalized readings are in the description box below. My links uh, to my website and my Etsy shop. And yeah, so I hope that we can connect again soon. Take care, love and light. Welcome to those of you who have picked pile number three. Again, this is a reading regarding what is blocking you from your path. Or again, just what advice you may need to take in on how to improve your path. Just take it as it resonates and apply it to your situation how you see fit. So we have round and round. Anytime I see that, it's like a cycle, something repeating. So let's see. Mother Mary, expect a miracle. Have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. So I feel like there is a cycle that you've been in, whether it's a relationship or a situation, whatever it is, this is ultimately what is blocking your path. Um, I feel like you've been going round and round uh, in a certain situation or a connection, and it's just, it gets somewhere one second. And then later on, it's like back at square one. And so that's what's blocking your path. But I do feel for most of you, there is an end to whatever this cycle is. Spirit in the universe, the divine, they have heard your prayers in regards to whatever this cycle is. Um, I feel like some of you feel like you may have a cycle of bad luck as well. But expect a miracle. Have faith that a miracle is coming. It's just around the corner pretty much. But... Um, you have to be patient with yourself and just with the universe in general um, because behind the scenes, they are working. So we have vulnerability. Um, so honestly, since I've had this deck, I don't think this card, not even for myself, it has come up. So um, yeah, not that I can recall. It may have. I've done a lot of readings, but as far as I can tell, since I've been using this deck, I have never, this card hasn't come up in a reading. But um, this is confirmation that you're seeking to tread into the unknown, unfamiliar territory where decisions are based more on intuition than rationality. Don't let fear hold you back or allow a misguided sense that feeling vulnerable is somehow a negative condition. So, um, I feel, uh, I don't know why, but I feel water sign energy here. I feel a lot of emotions coming out and I feel like uh, what's blocking your path is you not being communicative. Um you i don't even think there's a problem with your throat chakra at all it's just that you choose not to um voice your opinions or tell people your emotions too much um but i feel like this is ultimately why you stay in the cycle because you don't let it be known how you're feeling so spirit is saying it's okay to be vulnerable find somebody even if it's god the universe um archangels whoever tell somebody Tell somebody what you are going through. And the universe usually already knows what you're going through. But a lot of the times, the universe and even God wants you to be like, hey, I need you to feel comfortable enough to tell me what's going on. I already know what's going on, but I need to hear it from you. So, um, yeah, sometimes that's all it is. So don't be afraid to admit that you are vulnerable and that you do need help or, you know, you want somebody to see your side of things. But I feel... Like, if you start to do that, then you the cycle will be ending, whatever it is. Um, but yeah, so I do feel water sign energy, like I say, with the signs. And most of my readings is it doesn't you don't have to be the sign for it to resonate, could be just the energy you're taking on, or simply, um, you know, 
just in other areas of your chart or other people or anybody you may be thinking about so let's see um we have taking steps for intention so yeah I feel like maybe recently you've started to kind of come out more with telling people how you feel but still not completely um because I do with taking steps it reminds me of baby steps so you're getting there but you're not all the way there yet um the spirit is saying to move one foot in front of the other um because I do feel like um whatever this is that is blocking your path it's it's like I said it's coming to an end but it's just about you taking the steps necessary that you need to take because I feel like you know what to do you're just not doing it you may be scared or again I feel like you're going through the motions of like oh what if this happens what if that happens what if I can't do this or things like that and that's what's ultimately stopping you so spirit is saying to come out of that mindset and so we have breathe big let it all in expand your fabulous belly who cares if your jeans feel too tight here's an idea <clears throat> buy a roomier pair deep full breaths invigorate you they release sadness and allow ecstasy to flood in pause inhale a long slow big delicious breath exhale remember whenever uh the going gets tough take a deep breath and trust that you are capable of greatness and on the other side it says breathe deeply yeah so get out of that mindset some of you may be going through some anxiety here um but I feel like this is, you know, about things beyond your control. And I feel like you're definitely possibly just kind of being overly anxious about something that really isn't worth being stressed about. Um, but yeah, so practicing uh, deep breathing here for you guys. And yeah, a miracle is on the way. You just have to trust that. And again, sometimes you have to let people know that you need help. And don't turn it down if somebody does help, uh, offer to help you. So that is what I feel for pile number three in regards to what is blocking your path or the advice you need to take to improve on your path. I wish you love and light. Please let me know if this resonated. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Or, you know, let me know what you learned from this, if anything. And if you like personalized readings, the disc, uh, in the description box below, you will find my Etsy shop link and my website. I also have, again, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, uh, Amazon wish list. And if you would like an energy exchange, just to say thank you. Or again, if you see some tools that you would like to see me use on my channel. Um, I do have a registry on Amazon. And yeah, so I wish you guys a love and light. And I hope that we can connect again soon. Take care.